Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 58. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button please. Thank you. It has been raining forever. We are just finishing loading up the last of the logs in our cleanup effort. And then we're going to go take them and sell them and see what our grand total is going to be. I do like using this front loader to load logs. It works pretty good for me. I've gotten it down to a science of setting it, coming forward, rocking it forward, and then pinching it shut and it picks them up and of course I missed one while I was showing you but yeah last one there we go and let's go sell it always always lean that trailer I go too fast with this truck and get down here there we go 22,740 for a grand total of six hundred and five thousand dollars yay team now let's get back and Spend some of that money. And we are headed to the store. I want to purchase... Shut that off. I want to purchase a new... Bale trailer. Looky there. And we can... Oh, you know what? I can hook this on the front. I need to drop the weight. And we'll hook... Oh, it doesn't have a front end. Oh, uh, I gotta go back and get a different tractor. I'll be right back. I think I might start calling this the land rocket. And I just about got scared because I didn't know if I had the regular hitch that this trailer needed or not. Anyway... It's good to be back on Grizzly Mountain, even if it is raining. I've got all of the forestry tools down there because all of the timber is gone over there and cleaned up. Alright, so let's see here. Yes, I got an auto load trailer. Operating position. Ooh, there we go. Ah, get rid of that. I want to see if once I get these loaded, can I unload them in a nice pretty stack? I think I can. And I don't have to auto load it. I can. Oof. Come on, get that one. And what is that one? Is that a hay bale? I think that's a hay bale. We don't want that. Yet. I can manually load this if I want to, which I probably will. But I want to get rid of this rainy weather. 
one nice thing about not having seasons installed, you don't have to worry about the weather. Oh, I got one too many. Oh, fudge brownies. All right, where are we going to put these? Let's put them over here for now. Oops. Don't put them. Don't park where I want to put them. Park next to where I want to put them. There we go. I remembered that. That's enough room. And there we go. Okay, so... I need to put this trailer somewhere. We need to sell our wool. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember what wool... That's not wool, that's cotton. Six fifty. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Another thing I like about seasons, they give you the sh the sheet that shows what the historical price was. Well, we don't need the money, ha ha ha. So we're not gonna sell it. We'll wait for a great demand, but we'll try and remember that 650 is what it's at right now. Well, let's see. We got one something bale and one silage. And I've been wishy-washy about whether or not I want to go to Seasons on this map or not, but I think I really do want to go to Seasons. Because I just wrapped those bales, and I wrapped them in the rain, and they're already silage. And, yeah. So, you know, all the above. Seasons makes you... Can I get that up there? Seasons makes you follow more the Mother Nature rules. And I like that. There we go. Just like I knew what I was doing. I don't mind stacking bales. So I do remember that I wanted to put cows where I cleared all the trees. It is straw. All right, we need straw for animals. Might even need to give it to the pigs right now. Is empty. Whoops. A little, a little excited there. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. Just like that. And now this will go into there. That is... Oh, no, it isn't. This is my pallet bale fork. Sorry about that. I spun the wrong way. So... Oh. oh getting everything wrong today. All right. Something I learned the other day. You might know about it. You might not, so I'm going to show you. 
and that's not what it is. You can run uh, the front loader straw shredder from here, or you can run it from here. It hooks up. But what I didn't know is that you can hook it up from here. And you can blow straw straight ahead if you want. That was new to me. Oh boy, I must have been really low on straw. It's not moving at all. Oh, here it comes. Wow. I'm going to use the whole bale. Hundred and fourteen piggies. And I'm full of straw with five hundred left. And I want to make sure I have everything filled up on that pen when I switch to Seasons. That way I won't have to put anything in it for a long, long time. Same thing with the sheep. But now... I want to look into cows. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to put cows over here. That rock kind of messed with my plans a little bit. Didn't know that was in there. But I'm going to see what I can find for a cow pasture that is humongous and then I will be back. So I have chosen this cattle stable barn thing. I've never used it before so I thought we'd give it a try. I placed it close to the water on that corner, just enough room that I can drive around. And I got it as close to the rock here as it would let me. So I can put a road in here. And I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I was thinking about putting a building. And I was also thinking about making it into a field and something I could mow. I don't know. But I... I have some landscaping to do. And I'm not sure... I like the way you can open these gates up and they block off where the cows will be. And if you close it, then the cows can wander all the way around. Pretty sure this is for straw. All along here, probably straw and feed. Not 100% sure. This is probably where you buy. Yep. Milk. This will be water. I'm going to have to change that grass texture. Um, what is the. Oh, this is for the straw. I think this is where the straw goes. Well, we will have to find out. And then slurry and nerr. Okay, so... Well, let's do... 
a little rainy day landscaping. Wow, this thing goes slow in reverse. Let's go forward, it's faster. Let's get that over here out of the way. I don't know if it'll bother it for landscaping, but... Okay, we have $329,000 left. I don't want to use it all, but... Let's see here. Start landscaping. I want to... I don't want to sculpt. I want to paint. There we go. Let's see. I want to put regular grass and dirt. That's concrete. Or blacktop. Well, we'll leave the blacktop. But, let's put... Let's put this in as dirt. No, let's go grass. Is that grass? Oh, you know what? Grass on this map does not grow in. I forgot about that. So... What do I think about that? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we'll use this texture, the forest texture, instead of dirt. That's not an option, is it? Darn it! Alright, we'll use dirt. I made the square small on purpose. It's as small as I can get it. And... I'll roughen that up a little bit. So, oh good. I was hoping it would jump all the way over to the grass line. And it did. Oh. How come... Huh. I don't know why it did that one... Well, I guess I'll just do that. That one square didn't jump all the way. Or that one square did jump, and the rest of them aren't. Alright, so... That's where I want that edge. I'm gonna get rid of all of this goofy green. I think it's goofy. And you can see that I don't paint while I'm moving anymore. I move, get it where I want it, and then I hit the paint. That way I don't overpaint someplace I don't want. And we've got grass there, so I will leave that. And that does not jump out. So if I go there, and we will save that tuft of grass. And 
it's starting to get dark on me with the shadows. Which I'm not real happy with. Uh, ooh, that jumps in a long ways. So, let's run this all the way along there. That tends to do a better job of merging. And let's dirt this around here. We're going to have to make it daylight here shortly. So let's see, that goes to there, oh, is that going to go all the way in there? I don't want it to go in that far. There, uh, actually worked quite well, I'm surprised with myself. Normally it doesn't behave like that. And we'll dirt along that. That's working pretty good. I want to save a little tuft of grass there. It's against my better judgment. Okay, I better stop. And... Okay, it'll go right up to the edge. Like that. Oop. We'll leave that little line of darkness right there by the trough. And okay, so now we need a road, a path of sorts. And that's too big, so we'll go that size. And it's going to go... Well, it's going to kind of go at an angle. Like that. And you can see what I wanted to save there. Oops, I made it smaller. And we'll come around the corner. And a lot of this will be readjusted once we actually drive it and can see where our tires go. I don't want to get rid of any of that grass yet. I'm not sure where I want to go with this. We won't be driving over here, so I guess I don't need to make I mean, we'll be driving this way. We won't be driving over here, per se. Okay, well, this has got a straight corner. All right, let's just leave it where it's at, and we'll drive it and see where we need to add. All right, so... Let's see. Will it let me sleep? I think it's time to go to bed.
How we doing on animals? They're good. We need wheat, barley, potato, sugar beet. I don't even remember if we had anything in our silo. We have a little corn. And that is it. Okay, well, let's clean the sheep and the pigs. And I don't have the bucket over here. And I need to get rid of that weight. So my front wheels were skidding. Clean sheep for what? Two seconds? And now we'll clean the pigs. and hit the corner. As soon as I spun the corner I knew I was going to get there too soon. There we be. And we'll just leave the bucket on because we wake up in the morning they're going to need to be cleaned again. Hopefully they'll let me sleep at 18.30. If not, we'll speed up time. And we will get rid of this rain, I hope. Forecast says it's going to disappear. Move up here to the mobile home. Drive around the corner. And, yeah, it's a shame I can't paint that with growing grass, but oh well. Let's see, it was 18. Oh, we're not tired. Well, fine. We will speed up time. As soon as the outside light comes on, that's when we can sleep. And now we can sleep. And it is 19.30, so if we get up at 6.30, that'd be 11 hours. Wow, we're almost up to $1,000 of property maintenance. Good thing we've got the uh, apples. And the rain is gone. It is a wonderful morning. We're checking the crops. What do we put there? Is that wheat? Barley. Barley, barley, barley. I'm gonna have to switch that. Whoa! Looky there. <laughs> it's harvest time. Except for the... Oh, well, you never know with the root crops. You have to check the map. And they are indeed ready to be harvested. Well, we will have to get right on that. But first, do 
Well, I was thinking about messing with cows, but maybe I should wait and not buy any cows yet. Until we switch over to seasons. And now that the harvest is ready... Let's check our sheeps and... <gasps> Ooh. Gonna get a full two pallets of wool there. Ugh. I always get that too low. And that trough just keeps filling up by itself because, I believe, because they have a grazing area there. I haven't put any grass in there for forever, I don't think. Oh my goodness. That was just overnight. Look at how dirty they are. Alright, so those are good to go. You know what? I better move that wool for fear of it being full before I get done harvesting. Okay, let's see. I think it'll take four pallets, but I don't know that I want to risk it. This is on my list of things to learn how to do. Now, see the rod on the left side of the arm? See the silver piece come out? If you lower it down till the silver piece just disappears, that means you have level forks. Okay, they're not quite level. Is it not quite all the way in? It wasn't all the way in. So. There's the level forks. Let's try this again. There it is. So right there, it disappeared. That's pretty darn level. And then we have to decide... Just come up a little bit, I guess. Make sure the arms are in the middle of the product. It says I have it. Looky there. Anyway, I need to practice that. All right, let's go get a harvester. Jeepers. Remove tops. All right. Oh, you know what? We could probably get several workers going here. Um, that looked like it was unfolded, but I guess not. That is already unfolded. That's ready to go. I need to make sure swath dropping is enabled. Yes, it is. I accidentally tried to start a worker. Get that screen turned off.
Okay, let's harvest some, what was this, barley? And we'll hire the worker, and we'll jump out. <laughs> and the grass is grown. Let's see here. We need care wheels. I've heard other people since I've been watching YouTube call them care wheels. I never heard of that term before. I always just call them narrows. Now, let's see. I don't think I need to wait. And he does not have a front attacher. No, he does not. So we'll put this on the back. Which isn't quite... I don't think it's quite the way it's done. Wow, that was a little lag spike. Alright, so we're catching them all. I'm going to watch... Oh, we just missed some. And that's why I was going to watch. There's just a little speck of a row right there off to the side. Whoops. i got to start it. There we go. There we go. And when I do sugar beets, I like to remove all the tops. And then... Grab the harvester. Just my personal preference. And I believe this is the first harvest since we put the addition onto the field and made it longer. And why do workers take so long to turn around? I just cannot let them do that. I have to take over. But I will hire... Excuse me. I will hire a worker to drive a straight line because I can't do that at all. All right, I am going to jump to, oh, what am I going to jump to? Hey, that's exactly what I wanted to jump to. 76%. All right, now I need to jump to old red. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, I could have jumped to the semi. Do I have a wagon? I don't have another wagon. This is my only wagon. I need another wagon. I will have to unload. Oh, I'm not going to get there in time. I was him hawing and talking. Will he stop and swing out? Come on, unload, 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 unload. No! Stop already. I was there.
turn that off. And we'll hop back into the harvester. Turn the flashy blinky lights off. Have to remember we have to pick up all that straw before we switch to seasons because anything on the field will be reset, I believe. So, here we go. And let the worker do it. And that'll be just fine right there. We'll leave that. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, blinded. We need another wagon. What wagon shall we get? I thought we had one of the little itty bitty small wagons. We do not. Bye. That's the small wagon I was thinking about. Every farm has to have the little wagon. So let's buy the little wagon as big as it can be with a cover. Bye. There we go. Every farm has to have that little track or that little wagon. And this will probably be reserved for my pig feeder. We won't need that for a few more minutes. So, we are harvesting sugar beets, or topping them right now, so that we can feed those to the pigs. We are going to feed barley to the pigs, and we're going to feed corn to the pigs. We're going to fill the pig trough up as full as we can get it. Okay. Next episode, we're going to buy cow. We're going to switch to seasons next episode. But first, I need to finish the harvest. Hopefully, we'll switch it over to seasons next episode. Probably be mid episode when we switch it. I will finish up this harvest or get near to the end of the harvest. And then we will see you on the next episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. 
With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now. Dude, I was talking. Why are you driving your tractor up here and making it noisy?